There are a lot of myths and rumors about Walt Disney World's magic band system, and we are going to share the facts with you today. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Vlog, and we are gonna talk magic bands today. Now, we were thinking about doing a video with just including a little bit of information about magic bands, but I have realized over the past few years there's a lot of rumors, there's a lot of myths, there's a lot of things people don't know or understand about magic bands, and so we wanna make sure you guys have all the details you need to have a great trip and not to miss out on some important information that we think will really help you on your trip. So let's get started with the history of Magic Band. So introduced in 2013 as part of My Magic Plus, which included the electronic fast passes and the first iteration of My Disney Experience, this whole Magic Band thing was a complete overhaul to the guest experience we previously knew at Disney World. No more paper fast passes, no more having to carry your key to the world card around with you everywhere. And all of a sudden, every single thing you do in Disney World can be planned in advance. You can plan ahead and book that stuff online and get it on your My Disney experience. And then all of that went onto that little magic band around your wrist, so you no longer needed to carry park tickets, room keys, or even a credit card. So if you're a Disney World Resort guest or an annual pass holder, you'll receive a complimentary magic band with your stay or with your annual pass. And you can even get a discounted upgrade, which we're gonna talk to you about in just a second. But anyone who visits Disney World can purchase a magic band to use during their trip. So while you don't need a magic band, offsite guests can still use a ticket card to get into the parks, they do simplify things and make it so you don't have to carry and keep track of so many cards. Now, let's talk about those discounted upgrades really quickly because I know that's the big news right now. If you're staying on site in a Walt Disney World owned hotel and you really want one of the design options for the Magic Bands, meaning the printed ones with characters and things on them, be sure to check out your discounted upgrade options first. Now, this will be on your My Disney experience. There's a little thing that says Magic Bands, you wanna go there. And when you click on it, you should be able to choose either a plain solid color Magic Band or one of the printed character versions. Now the solid color magic bands are free, but the character versions cost a little bit extra, but they are less money than you would have to spend if you bought a magic band in a store. So now we have to mention that the upgraded option has been a little bit glitchy for a lot of guests and Disney has run out of the upgraded options, sold out of them, or otherwise had limited availability since the new option rolled out a few months ago. So if you've got time before your trip, keep checking back to see what options are available because they will change and you'll be able to see the deadline to pick your band in my Disney experience. So just keep checking back until you get the ones you want right up until your deadline time. Now how you get there is if you scroll past the free solid color options, when you go to select your magic bands, you'll be able to browse through a few different design options featuring Disney characters or park designs. Now these are usually available for purchase at a discounted rate of $10 for resort guests to get them on the My Disney Experience account and they're regularly 25 bucks. So if you don't see one you like, there's plenty of other places to buy magic bands. And this is something I really wanted to let you guys know. You don't have to get your magic band through the My Disney Experience situation. You can get magic bands anywhere. You can get them on Shop Disney, the official Disney World shopping site, and that has a huge selection of the current Magic Bands that you'll find in the parks and resorts. But you can find Magic Bands in lots of other places online as well. And don't stress, don't worry, you will be able to link them to your My Disney Experience account even before you go to Disney World. I'll tell you about that in a second too. So head over to Amazon, Amazon, eBay. They have lots of options like rare or discontinued Magic Band prints, plus lots of accessories like different puck holders. Now pucks are those little circles where Mickey is on your magic band. They call that a puck. So you can actually take the Mickey scanner out of the band and attach it to a lanyard holder or a carabiner or some other kind of accessory. Now if you want to get more creative, buy a custom magic band decal on Etsy to decorate the standard solid color bands. That one's going to be a little bit less expensive than buying a whole new band. But if you're staying off site and still want the simplicity of having every detail of your trip linked in one spot, order that magic band ahead of time and get all of that set up before your trip even begins. You'll have more options and might be able to get a better price. So AJ, I have a magic band. I got it on Amazon, which is actually where I got my son's magic band. I got him a Monsters uh, University magic band over on Amazon. But anyway, hey AJ, I've got my magic band. What do I do with it now? 
how do I link it up before I go to Disney World so it's ready to go? Well, that's totally easy. If you're staying on site and you picked your magic band through my Disney experience, then your band is already linked to your reservation. And you should be getting it in the mail before you get to Disney World unless you've booked a super last minute trip, in which case it'll be waiting for you at the front desk when you check in. But if you've purchased a magic band through Shop Disney or elsewhere, you'll need to link it to your account. So first off, set up your My Disney Experience account, which you should already have anyway, right? Because you're planning a Disney trip. After that, linking reservations, tickets, and magic bands is super easy. Locate the magic bands and cards under your account, scroll to the bottom, and click link. Then you'll just type the ID number found on the back of your band, assign it to someone in your party, and click confirm. So if you have any trouble, you can give Disney a call and they'll walk you through the process. It's really, really easy. And yes, these magic bands will absolutely work with your My Disney Experience account. We just stayed at Kidani Village a couple of weeks ago and I had lost my magic band that I always use and so I actually didn't have a magic band, but my son had his little Monsters Inc. magic band, which I had linked to his account. And since he was on our hotel room we had done early online check-in and we just went to our room and his magic band opened the door for us because even though I didn't buy it at Disney or through Disney it was linked and it was able to open our door from our early check-in so it was total proof that that works you can buy a magic band from someplace else link it up to your account and it should work just like a magic band that Disney sends you now speaking of little kids just want to put this as an inset if you have a little kid or if you have smaller wrists don't forget you can take off that gray rubber around the outside side it's almost like a punch out card you take out the color part of the magic band from the gray outline and it'll make a magic band a little bit smaller so you won't have quite as much extra magic band to sort of tuck underneath okay so how do magic bands work on property magic bands seamlessly integrate every detail of your trip from the moment you arrive at the airport. So at the airport, you can use your magic band as your transfer voucher for the magical express bus. So be sure you packed it in your carry-on. Now this takes you right from the airport to your hotel for free. Don't forget you don't have to use magical express, but if you do use magical express, you'll have to sign up for that ahead of time. You can't decide that when you're at the airport. Now, if you've done online check-in, like I was talking about with my son's band, you might be able to completely bypass the check-in desk. You'll get a text when your room is ready that gives you your room number and a map of the resort and you'll be able to head straight there as your magic band is your room key so if your room isn't ready drop your bags at bell services and head right into the parks but if it is ready and you've got the room number you don't have to stop at the front desk you can head right to your room which is really nice if you are staying at one of those large sprawling resorts like most value resorts and moderate resorts really nice not to have to stop at the front desk and instead just drive over to your room now, your magic band is also your park ticket, so make sure you link your tickets and magic band to My Disney Experience ahead of time so you can go straight to the park entrance. Usually, I actually buy my tickets right through My Disney Experience on my phone, and they're linked into the My Disney Experience app automatically, and since my magic band's in there already, then they function as my park ticket, my special event ticket, and everything else. And remember, you can't make your FastPass reservations without having a ticket, so make sure you have your ticket linked up to My Disney experience ahead of time so you can make those fast pass reservations. Speaking of, Magic Bands also store your fast pass reservations so you can make those in My Disney experience 60 days out for on site guests and 30 days out for off site guests, and the details will be automatically linked to your Magic Band. So, technology isn't without its glitches, so always be smart and take a screenshot or even print out your fast pass reservations just in case something goes wrong. Your Magic Band is also your link to Memory Maker, so that's the whole photo situation in Disney World. If you stop at a photo pass spot in in one of the parks, the cast member will scan your band and all of your photos will be automatically linked to your account. Now this goes for in-ride photos as well. Don't forget to tap your magic band when you get off the ride. You'll see a little magic band tapper below your particular picture. Go ahead and tap that with your magic band and it'll go right onto your My Disney Experience account. Note, if an in-ride photo doesn't link correctly, you can report a missing photo online or call Disney's PhotoPass for support. Note what time you were on the ride and a cast member can usually help find it. So for purchases, if you're staying on site, you can link a credit card on file to your magic band and use that band along with your pin number to charge purchases back to your room. This will work pretty much anywhere on Walt Disney World property from gift shops to restaurants and even at Disney Springs. But be sure to always bring a backup method of payment because technology. Now, if you're using the Disney dining plan, my Disney experience and your magic band also track your dining credit usage. And it's also worth noting that they're completely waterproof, so you don't need to worry about taking off your magic bands if you head to the pool or you're going on Collie River Rapids or Splash Mountain or something like that. 
Now, when should you unlink your magic bands? Once you're back from your trip, there's no reason for your magic band to stay active unless you're an annual pass holder and you're going back to Disney World soon. So you can go ahead and deactivate them. Once a magic band has been assigned, they can't be reassigned. They'll always be connected to the account you link them to, but you can activate or deactivate them as much as you want. So just be sure to reactivate a band if you're using it for an upcoming trip. And if you want to deactivate them, that's pretty easy to do. You just go into My Disney Experience, go to the list of magic bands. For me, it's really, really long. I have a lot of magic bands and you can activate or deactivate them right through the My Disney Experience account. So how long do magic bands work? Magic bands run off a small battery located in the band and there's no way to replace it, so eventually they will stop working. Generally, they last for about two years, but some people have reported they work much longer than that. And the short range transmission from magic bands will work without the battery, so you can still use it for anything that involves the action of tapping it. So if you're tapping into a park or if you're paying with it, you should be able to do that even if the battery stops working. But longer range functions like in-ride photos and food delivery will stop Stop working once the battery dies. Now, here's how to find out when to decline or recycle your magic bands. If you've got a growing collection of magic bands and you seriously don't need any more, you can decline a new magic band, or at least you should be able to. My Disney experience has been a little glitchy for me on this as well. But head to the online check-in area for your reservation and you may have a decline box pop up. Click that and then you can use one of your other previously purchased or accumulated magic bands instead. You'll just want to activate that one and it should work just fine for your trip. And if you don't have any plans for your growing collection, by the way, you can order some cute display cases on Amazon and Etsy if you're into that. You can always bring your magic bands back to Disney World and have them recycled. Just deactivate the band before your next trip, bring them to the front desk at your resort, and let the cast member know you'd like to recycle them. So there's all the details, the secrets, the myths, the rumors about magic bands. That's how they work. That's what you need to do to use them and the care and feeding of your magic band. Let us know in the comments if you guys have any super fun magic bands that you love and that you use. Have you had experience with the battery dying or anything like that? We'd love to hear about it. And if you have any other tips for our subscribers or our viewers, we'd love to see those in the comments as well. Thank you guys for listening again. Thanks for watching. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.